Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. And as you can see, that Renalyn is with me today. Hi guys. So finally, it's been a year. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a year, guys. That you know, finally, that she's here in the Maggetti, and she's going to share with us her uh, second time experience here in the Maggetti. So. Um, it's been a while that you haven't visited, you know, um, Dumaguete. It's a long time, one, one year, right? Yeah. Or maybe more, more than, than that. More than a year. So, uh, and also, what can you say about the Ground Zero? Well, I love Ground Zero and I experienced their um, cafe latte and I love it. And it's a little bit expensive, but I guess uh, it's worth it. I like the ambience and of course you can socialize yeah. and yeah if you are a foreigner and coming here you should try it and i guess if you are an introvert i guess this place make you an extrovert <laughs> so what makes you decide to come here in numageti well same guy uh, same when the first time that i came here i feel in love on that place again and again if i want to move to davao i must my first choice is numageti i love it here I love the food and I love the fact that you can just, you know, like everything that you need, you're just gonna find it almost in one place. You know, you do not need to travel like an hour, half an hour just to go to one place. Unless if you're gonna go to a tourist spot, like from here to Valencia, it's gonna like half an hour, right? Yeah. So, but it's okay, right? But if you just love uh, food, restaurant, you can find it here. And after you eat in the restaurant, you can just walk to Bolivar just to relax so yeah I love it here so how long that you stay here in Dumaguete now today it's gonna be like my seven days so did you decide that to stay here or maybe uh yeah stay here for like a couple of months like that oh that's a good question because just recently guys like a few days ago I was thinking that maybe I should consider to live here for a month mm -hmm. just to check how much it costs to live here and of course rooming around Dumaguete so yeah I was planning maybe next year uh, early next year maybe that I'm going to stay here for a month um, for those people that who haven't known uh, Brainer Lane I interviewed her one year ago and so this is her second time here in my show yes so, it's good to be here as always so uh, I made a lot of money of you <laughs> really? I mean uh, <laughs> Almost, uh, yeah, what is it? More than twenty thousand views. Oh, yeah. so you guys love my story, huh? So if you <laughs> it's a long story. Yeah, if you haven't watched it, I guess you should yeah, you have put to the watch link it, in the description yes. below. So and if you wanna know me well, yeah. so that's my. Uh, she is a vlogger too. Uh, she came from Davao City, and I'm gonna put her uh, link at the bottom. I mean, in the description box uh, later on. Oh. So, okay, um, so uh, it's been, maybe it's already a week that you're here in Dumaguete mm -hmm. like that, so did you meet some, I mean, new people or yeah. foreigners? Like I was surprised. The first time that I came here in Ground Zero, guys, I supposed to meet you yeah. and Anne, but I wasn't expected that I'm going to meet a lot of vloggers. Like, this place is a love nest of <laughs> vloggers. <laughs> yeah, I met wonderful people, like, you know, uh, I learned how to go out alone, you know, just to grab some food and I love it here. Like I, you know, aside from Davao, I feel a little bit, I feel safe here too. Mm. Yeah. What can you say, you know, there's a difference, you know, Davao City, I heard that it's a very safe place it to is. live and uh, compare here in the market, it's safe too, but I, I mean, is um, there's no uh, like crime happen crimes yeah. happening there because you know Duterte our yeah. former president lived there you yeah know, really make it sure that you know we are all safe there like mm -hmm. even you're gonna go out in the middle of the night even you know how expensive your phone is or you're carrying an expensive stuff I can assure you 101% that you're gonna go home alive without being touched or getting uh, some of your things were gonna be loose you know you're gonna go home intact you feel really safe that will make you really feel safe like even you as a woman mm -hmm. going out you do not need to worry riding a taxi riding a trike it's safe you know here in Dumaguete like I feel safe too it is just like I'm not familiar yet to the place uh, I guess it's I guess. Yeah. What about the, uh, I mean, the uh, electrical lines or power line? I heard that the, uh, 
I mean, it's underground. They started to do it. They started wow. to do it, and yeah, like if you're gonna go to the city, they're try. I mean, they're still like working right now to have an underground uh, electricity. I think that in the whole country, I think that only Davao has that. I mean, has an idea to do that. Only Davao City. No, that's what I the heard. 31th best. Yeah, he's yeah. the best. Yeah, he's, like. Like, um, you will never, you know, I guess only him, like, I guess he's the, I would say that he really loved our place because before the first, when I first lived in Dalo City, I actually uh, experienced it that he's the drive, uh, taxi driver. Oh. Yeah, he really drive in the middle of the night just to check that the city is really safe. Dalo used to be very, like, a dangerous place way back you know, um, many years ago, until the 30 is the one who really um, president, the uh, mayor there. And now yeah. Davao is very safe. To all the people that, to all the foreigners think that Davao is dangerous, I can give one you one of the safest. Yeah, what's the safest um, place that you can, you know? What about the tourist spot in Davao City? So, about the tourist spot, there's some uh, tourist spot that. It's good, like Talikod Island, Samal Island. It's just like, Samal Island. It's just like uh, five minutes away if we're gonna ride a barge. But there's some hidden uh, tourist spot in Davao City to where I live. I live in Davao Oriental, not really in the city. So from my place, it, you're gonna travel like two to three hours, and you can find a lot of beautiful falls, uh, nice beaches, and yeah, it was beautiful there. I mean, I ca I didn't explore it yet. I plan. So maybe if you're gonna be followed to my channel, maybe soon you're gonna you're gonna see how beautiful Davao Oriental is. So Davao Oriental is just like six hours away from Davao City. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's some hidden place there that you can um, really go. It's not the same here in Dumaguete. That if you're gonna travel for half an hour, you can you know you can uh, see the you, there's a lot of uh, nice. Uh, tourist path here but in Dumbo you're gonna travel for a long time to be able to find a good uh, is there a lot of foreigners in Davos yes there's a lot like for me if you are looking for a peaceful I'm not saying that here it's not peaceful of course so if you're gonna live in Davao and you have a long distance relationship I guess there's a uh, more chance that maybe your wife we're gonna be faithful unlike you like <laughs> if you have a trust issue i don't think this place will gonna be like you know like a good place that you're going to leave Why? your wife here it's because if your wife will gonna go to boulevard <laughs> there's a lot of or foreigner will come gonna, to you yeah come mm -hmm. to you like if you have a trust issue i guess that's gonna be <laughs> I, i'm just uh, saying uh you know like <laughs> I don't know if this one will gonna be good to say, but like, <laughs> I don't know if we should cut this one or not. But really, like, I was in Boulevard and yeah, I saw that the foreigner approaching the single. Oh. Yeah, I saw it. I really like experienced it. I saw it in my two. Like, oh my god, what if if you know like. I'm not saying if you're gonna be in Davao, your wife will gonna be unfaithful, but the rest is a little bit, you know, um, not too much rest. It, and aside from that, there's not a lot. Well, here there's a lot of you know foreigner that they can ch choose, young, old. Uh, in Davao, mostly that the one they have there, it's already have a partner. I don't know if this one will gonna be good. Jeff. What about the restaurant there? Do you We're, have any oh, um, that's, Western? I mean, European food like. I'm that? gonna say that Dumaguete is um, really like best. It's a if it's of come, yeah, there's a lot Western of food. Yeah, like I don't think you can find a really good restaurant in. That. There's some few, but the selection it's not much compared here. You know, like if you are a foodie, food I'm gonna suggest. Dumaguete is the best for that. So Dabo, I'm just only recommend it if you have, if you really want to settle down. Like if you just want a peace, I mean you can still have a peace, peaceful life here because there's Valencia that you can uh, stay. But you know, for me, is it's still I don't know. Like both places is really good. I love Dabo because I came from there, and I fall in love with Dumaguete too. I love Dumaguete guys. So for me, the advice that I can give 
if you're coming here in Philippines, just jump from one place to another place. And if where is your heart belong, if you feel that, oh, this is my home, yeah. settle down. You know, because that's only my um, uh, opinion as a Filipina. I didn't know, guys, what you guys want, you know, but, you know, like, Dumaguete, it's like my second home. Wow. I love it here so, so much. So, as a vlogger, that for sure that you visited other places yeah. here in the Philippines, so, um, which one is, um, you know, you really want to, you know, you, maybe someday I can live here like that. Here, is it Duma in Dumaguete. Dumaguete. Wow. I cannot see myself. I lived in Cebu before, like more than a year. And I don't think, I mean, no hatred in Cebu. It's just like I cannot see myself living again in Cebu. I mean, Cebu is really good if you are into in shopping, but you cannot just live for shopping, right? Yeah. Shopping is good only for one, two days, you know? If you're gonna visit Cebu, it's a good to do some shopping if you have some extra. But living, I don't think so. I still like, I still want I still want to live in the province that you can feel like you can count on your neighbor because in the city you cannot do that, right? How about here? No, um, about here, yeah, you can. Yeah. In my parents' house, yeah, yeah. They share their blessing. Oh like yeah. That. yeah, that's what I was. Uh, I still want a province life, like you know, like eat together with your neighbors. Mm. If you have a party, we come, come, just come. eat. You know, that's what I share your food like that. that. Yeah, that's what I want. You know, that's why I cannot, I don't think you can still be able to, you know, if you're gonna live in the city, I don't think you can still be able to do that. Like, if something bad happened to you, seems like no neighbors will help, right? Unlike in the province, like, you know everyone, like, hey, can you help me with this? And they're gonna be willing to help you, right? That's, that's what I love in the province. And also, um, for sure that my viewers want to know that, you know, as this a feminine, beautiful <laughs> Filipina, uh, is she single? I'm still single, guys. Unfortunately, I'm still single. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm still, still Because single. it's not easy to find her right now. Maybe oh. there's a lot of, you know, uh, handsome men. You it's know, not just about the looks. No. You know, I'm not really into in looks. Like, if there's a connection, that's what I'm really looking for. Connection is a must for me, especially if we just start. You know, and I want a guy that, who have a lot of patience. That's what I'm looking for, really, and understanding. Does age matter to you? No, no, age is just a number, and I prefer to be with an old one than to the you know young young guys, guys. Yeah. not because like you know like for me it's just like uh, older than older older guy can give you a lot of understanding and patience and seems like they can understand you more compared to the young guys yeah. but who knows right maybe there's a young guys they're that, mature yeah they're and mature. you know because based of their, their experience too you know? yeah it's you know i'm not closing any door if I can feel that he's the one, why not? I'm gonna open my two arms to open, right, to him in my life, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I guess that's all for today. Yeah, so, it's yeah. good being here, guys, and getting to know all of you guys. So I hope uh, <laughs> there is no hatred. Okay, that's my opinion, and I tried to. Uh, give you an honest opinion. Yeah, it doesn't mean that you should follow me or you know. So yeah, it's thank you so much for choosing Dumaguete oh. yeah, to visit. I love it here. One of your bucket list. Like yeah, that. I love it here, and for sure I'm gonna come back. Wow. You know, I'm gonna come back, and I even consider to live here. Wow. So I love it really here. Okay, so that's all for today. Yeah. So bye bye guys. Bye guys. This is Raynaline again. And so, yeah, till next, next time. <laughs> till next time. <laughs>